from the moment that he began envisioning and creating Longwood. Pierre DuPont was always experimenting, and Longwood was always evolving. And so we have continued that tradition, creating a pathway for how Longwood would continue to grow and evolve far, far, far into the future. The Longwood Gardens sustainability story begins in 1906 when Pierre S. DuPont purchased Pierce's Park to save a significant collection of unusual trees from a local lumber company. Sustainability is in Longwood's DNA. Every decision that's made at Longwood has a component of what is the right thing to do for the environment, what's the right thing to do for everyone around us. If we're thinking about the next chapter, what innovations can be brought to the surface that actually elevate the idea of the spectacle of the garden, the beauty of it, and bring forward a host of contemporary considerations like sustainability. Our firm is really a hybrid of architecture, landscape architecture, infrastructure, and art. And we just naturally incorporate sustainable elements within all of our projects. It's really something we see as our social responsibility. Pierre DuPont was an inventor. So even the Heritage Conservatory had a number of very innovative ideas at the time. And in a way, we're building on that tradition. So there are a number of sustainable aspects that you typically wouldn't see in a conservatory. One such sustainable attribute of Longwood Reimagined is the earth duct or earth tube system, a key component of the new West Conservatory's ventilation system. What it does is draws in air from outdoors and pulls it into the building through a series of underground pipes. Because the ground is at a very consistent temperature, the soil helps to either cool that air in the summertime or in the wintertime, it helps to warm that air. And that way we can use the kind of the magic of the earth to kind of even out temperature extremes. So it's a great way to think a little bit more sustainably. Above the ground, the West Conservatory features windows that open and close automatically to also help regulate temperature and aid ventilation. It's almost like the gills of a fish that run the whole length of it. That sense of movement and breathing is then sustained by the air that's coming through the earth tubes to create a natural passive environment inside. So it really is a living, breathing building. A state-of-the-art geothermal ground source heat pump system will provide heating and cooling for much of the Longwood Reimagined project, including the Grove, which will house offices and classrooms, the lower levels of the West Conservatory, and the new 1906 restaurant and event space. Longwood drilled 127 wells, each approximately 320 feet deep, in a nearby parking lot. And what it's doing is, again, trying to take advantage of the Earth's temperature and to use that as either a heat source or a heat sink. So it makes it a much more efficient means of heating and cooling. In fact, it'll probably save us 25 to 50 percent energy usage at each of those spaces. A rain capture system will collect rainwater from the over one acre of rooftop space created by the new West Conservatory and the Grove buildings. Every drop of water that falls on that surface has to go someplace. By harvesting that storm water, we're picking up a water that is extremely clean and can be captured and stored and then used for things like irrigation and supplemental water in our fountains. So that, over the course of a year, it's gonna save us about a million gallons. Longwood is at the forefront of a new movement in the wood industry to reuse wood from trees that have fallen or are at the end of their lifespan. They wanted to use their own lumber throughout their Longwood Reimagined project. So they approached us to take some logs and mill them into usable lumber for furniture. It's a good use of the wood. It's actually a carbon sink where it, it uh, stores carbon instead of releasing it into the atmosphere. Each log has a story and the pieces all have a special meaning to them. There's a couple farm tables for the restaurant. There's a special table that's supposed to look like a ginkgo leaf. There's a bunch of bonsai furniture for the bonsai room. It's about 25 pieces all together. They've also been really good with using us as a community outreach. The Challenge Program is a construction training program. We work with youth that have serious barriers to employment. 18 to 24 is our target age. We do construction training on the job site. We have comprehensive case management. We try to get them ready to enter the workforce. Getting the opportunity to learn all these different skills from people that care about their community, that's a really cool thing. I learned a lot 
here. They want to see us do good, but they also want to help us learn so we can get out in the world and do for ourselves as well. A truly great garden cannot exist without unimaginable beauty that is supported by thoughtful, sustainable features. Longwood Reimagined is an exciting blend of both. We're thinking in terms of 100 years and 200 years, just like our founder did. It's about the future proofing of Longwood and thinking that far ahead so that the next generation will have something to build upon and to continue evolving Longwood.